The California recall election heating up with national implications. This weekend, Governor Gavin Newsom getting high profile help from Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. And both of them, as well as the opposition, spoke with ABC's Zareen Shah. Are you ready? Are you ready? This morning, California's recall election getting a big national boost. The fight that's going on nationally has come to California. Senator Elizabeth Warren stumping for Governor Gavin Newsom one week out from the special recall election. The consequences in California in 10 days have impacts all across America because it's either no on the recall or Larry Elder gets sworn in as the next governor of California. Warren telling ABC News in an exclusive joint interview the stakes could include Democrats losing control of the Senate. The leading opponent here, Larry Elder, has already said that if he gets the chance, he will replace any Democratic California senator with a Republican. Conservative radio host Larry Elder, whose name sent him soaring to a double-digit lead, and candidate Caitlyn Jenner seemingly relying on name recognition, not appearing in any of the debates or even traditionally campaigning. You, you spent part of this campaign in Australia shooting a reality show. Voters are wondering, is that what they can expect from you if you were governor? No, when I, uh, when I go to Sacramento, I'm working for the people. That will be my job. Obviously, I had something on the books that was there months and months before I even decided to do this. And not like a lot of politicians, I actually honor my contracts. No major Republican has campaigned with the GOP hopefuls. Candidates like former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner and businessman John Cox want to keep it that way. You know, the governor's really trying to focus on, on you know, national leaders to come and come into California and try to save them, but it's not going to work because I think what we're seeing is that you know, we had 2 million Californians that signed this recall petition. I think they're going to say to themselves, we've tried politicians. We've tried media celebrities like Jenner or Elder, and these are people that don't know how to manage. But Newsom and Warren making the case that what happens in California has massive consequences for the rest of the country. I mean, hypothetically, 10 months ago, if Larry Elder were governor of California, who would he have appointed to replace Kamala Harris? This is a moment when we need to hang on to our majority in the United States Senate. Larry Elder's team did not make him available to us. As for Newsom, Amy Klobuchar and Kamala Harris will be stumping for him as well. The other candidates tell me they will be campaigning hard, too, to try and flip those current numbers. It's tricky here in California. The way the numbers work, if 50 percent of voters vote to recall Newsom, he is out. And then the opponent with the most number of votes, regardless of how many, becomes California's next governor. Eva? It'll be interesting to watch how it all plays out. Zareen Shaw for us there. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.